Welcome, this is Greta Farema. I'm Marie Sostro from the YPO, and we are here in Davos 2020, the 50th anniversary of the World Economic Forum. And there's a lot of conversation here about the climate, which we've also had, about sustainability. And for us in the smaller corporate sector, so it's not the biggest companies in the world, our 29,000 members are one or two tiers beneath that, but cumulatively are a significant player in the world economy. And want to hear your message. What can our members, not the few people that are gonna be here, but our 29,000 CEOs around in 130 countries, what can they do to engage with the work that you're doing? I think my message is uh, we can all do something. We are now entering the decade of action. Remember back in 2015 when all member states of the UN agreed on the sustainable development goals. Many countries signed up to the Paris Agreement. We even calculated the costs of uh, implementing uh, the sustainable development goals. This came together as the Agenda 2030. The Agenda 2030 calls for partnerships, calls for great contributions also from the private sector, realizing that we're all part of the global society. And whether we sit as business leaders, political decision makers, or members of the UN, we all have to look into what can we do in our businesses to go more green, to be socially sustainable, and financially viable. These three things come together and we, through working together, can innovate. We can find these breakthrough solutions that actually the globe now requires. That's very encouraging and, and we do want to collaborate. And One of the things for us as an organization, the YPO, came last year and you very kindly came to speak to us at our very first opportunity. And we got excited and said, you know what? This is a bigger conversation that maybe we can participate in. Uh, and hence, this year, a bigger presence in Davos. And the question, I suppose, with any conversation is, is the other side listening? How do you have a conversation where the other side actually reacts and listens to, to the smaller players? Because it's the big players out there, the large companies that can make the big noise. How do you in your role and the organization, the United Nations generally, listen to the smaller or the companies that have an incredible chunk of the world's economy and sustainability is going to be key to communicating to that audience as well. And they won't communicate to you, to you if they don't think you're listening. How does that happen? So I think realization uh, of partnerships as a key driver has uh, been uh, adopted by many and that the smaller light-footed businesses are required also to drive innovation. So how we can help connecting private and public partners, how we can help connect the ones who are at the forefront with maybe some of the more mainstreamed companies and organizations are key to us. So I hope to tell you a bit about how we do this. Fantastic. Things. Thank you. That is a wonderful challenge for our members. Thank you, Greta, and I look forward to your remarks. Thank you.